everybody, it's Rachel with Snapdoodle Toys. I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about Pandemic Legacy today. So I love the Pandemic games. I've tried all the expansion packs, they're great. And I was kind of ready to try something new. And so I thought maybe I'll give Pandemic Legacy a try. I've, I've definitely been a little hesitant with the Legacy games just because of the time commitment and the added complexity, but it's actually very straightforward to jump from the basic Pandemic game into Pandemic Legacy. So for those of you who haven't played Pandemic before, you should definitely go try it. You will love it. But I'll give you a quick brief overview of the game and, and kind of how it works. So basically you're playing as different characters on this board of a map of the world. You're flipping infection cards and adding disease cubes to cities while also moving across the board, clearing those disease cubes and trying to find the cures for those diseases. You're trying to prevent outbreaks and have the least effect from the epidemic cards that are going to come up. So one of the really cool things about Pandemic Legacy is that the game happens over the course of 12 months. Now, I don't mean a full year. You can play all of the games in one sitting if you really want. But what I mean is that you're going to be playing anywhere between 12 to 24 Pandemic games in this Pandemic Legacy game. So you get different objectives for each month, and each month is one game. One thing that's super cool about this game is that the board and the game change as you progress through these 12 months of the game. So depending on where you finish your last game, you're adding stickers to the board, you're adding stickers to your character cards, you're adding stickers to the city cards that are gonna affect you in all of the future games. I don't wanna give too much away. Some pretty crazy stuff happens in this game, but you're gonna have to check it out and play it for yourself. 